We are really proud of that. But the limitation. Despite the success, only 10% of cancer patients receive good palliative care. You know why? Because the SEC does not accept patients at advanced stages. When you go to KSCC, if you are at early stage, they accept you. If you are at late stage, they don't accept you because they are willing to spare the beds for people who have potential for curative measures. Whether or not we agree with them, this is the fact. The fact is that they have no place. Where to go, the places are really limited. So this is the limitation. Again, only 10 percent of people have cancer, uh, who have cancer. What about people who do not have, have cancer, chronic diseases? There is nothing. We have lack of specialists, poor awareness, limited resources. After that, uh, Georgia Palliative Care Society was established, and it was launched in January 2011. This is now 10 years from now. And we looked into that triangle. You remember triangle? Medicine is not available in most of the facilities. What about the policy? We have problems with the policy. What about uh, support of our administrations? We realized that we need to forget everything and to focus. And this is my message for people from other countries. You will have resistance from decision makers. You will have challenges with medication. We will have challenges with implementation. And this is natural. Don't call it resistance. Changing situation in your country does not happen in two months or two years. It will take maybe 10 years. And this happened even in the United States of America. Dr. Johar here, maybe he agree with me. It's always difficult to change situation. Our message, look at the red line. Private care teams in all countries, Jordan and other countries, just focus on this. This is our experience. Just focus on yourself. Focus on training and education. This is a success story. We are only two years now, and we did all this. It's all about building capacity. We train eight public hospitals. We train Al Bashir Hospital, Oncology European. And we did, moving forward, we have now national palliative care guidelines. We started the diploma of palliative care one year, and we have all, already people international visitors from our, our, our countries. We have a, a, a master degree of palliative care with Jordan University. We have three days workshop, which we do this do it every one month. Our our goal is to train 500 staff in one year, 500 staff, which will be distributed all over the country. We have Wilmis House, the, the first group therapy sitting for, for cancer patients and people with chronic diseases. This is the eight public hospital we trained. This is the one month training. And then, as you, as you mentioned, the palliative care uh, guidelines, and we introduced palliative care into the curriculum of 60 year students at Hashim University. Diploma in palliative care and master degree in palliative care. Diploma in collaboration with Jordan uh, German University. And as we mentioned, this is a three months workshop and then Wilmes House. This is the 16 week we did. Again, all what you see here, it is only an experience with two years. I will tell you the truth. When we started this palliative care, we have been only six people sitting in the room. Dr. Mustafa Bino, Dr. Tala Abujaya, and others, we have been sitting together. That was our dream. But did, you, did it cross your mind that we'll be here in two years? Actually, we need to admit, we didn't imagine that we would let it happen. This is not because we have been such intelligent people, not from us. It's first of all, we call it Tawfiq from Allah, who actually helped us to, to reach this. It actually will help our friends from the Ministry of Health, from the uh, universities, and from the society. And again, this is the conclusion. The conclusion based on our experience, when you have such challenges, only focus and remember, always and always, building capacity in palliative care is the cornerstone for success. Thank you very much.